I'm in the kitchen today. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Is that a word? Anyway, hope you are feeling fabulous and feeling blessed today. Because remember, as long as you're alive, you're still blessed. Okay? And still hope. So guys, today I'm going to show you like probably the quickest uh, video I've ever shown you guys. Um, a recipe, I should say. I'm making hummus or chickpea spread, call it what you will. But I'm making it because I have a whole bunch of tortilla chips and I need to eat my tortilla chips. So, um, I hope everybody knows how to do this or if you can't, you can always just buy it. But anyway, I didn't have tahini, which is, you know, the sesame seed paste, which is um, an ingredient in hummus. Um, so I made it myself for the first time. It was easy as pie, at least to me it was easy, okay? <laughs> All you need are sesame seeds and a skillet and some heat. You toast your sesame seeds, you put it in a um, food processor, blend it up into a paste. You can add a little oil to help you turn it into a paste and basically that's your tahini right there, okay? So let's get started guys. Recipe, uh, all you need. Um, now I should mention lime is not normally what you would put in this I think lemons is the traditional uh, citrus but uh, me and lemons are not friends uh, gives me um, blisters on my tongue something about the acid so anyway I just substitute the lemon for um, substitute the lime for the lemon I'm gonna use one small clo clove of garlic I'm putting it in raw you can roast it if you want it to be milder and sweeter um, here is my homemade tahini I was telling you about earlier. Okay, chickpea paste. Uh, it smells really good. <laughs> um, guys, this is my um, frozen bag of chickpeas. One of my frozen bags of chickpeas I had shown you earlier. Check out my um, chickpea bean slash cooking your own freezing story for later use video, which I will link um, on the screen for you. And I'm going to put some salt the sea salt you guys know I love my heat so I put chili in everything <laughs> and I've got really good cold pressed um, extra uh, virgin olive oil okay so basically you add all this to your food processor so I'm gonna squeeze in the lime juice okay I'm gonna put the whole thing in here because I like the tartness of citrus of course just squeeze it in And guys, this is very healthy for you. So, and actually, if you make it yourself, it's even healthier than the stuff you buy. And you know what? It actually tastes even better than the stuff you you could buy at the store. Okay, so squeeze in your lemon or lemon substitute. Okay. Next, you're gonna scoop in some of your. Oops, I'm making a mess, guys. Scoop in here to eat paste. Um, you can add a little at a time just to make sure you're not you know, overdoing the uh, tahini paste. Next thing you're going to add is your salt. Okay, so we got a little salt. Don't put too much. Remember, I did cook the chickpeas if you saw my previous video with salt. Then you add in well, I will, but you don't have to. Chili powder. You can also add chili uh, flakes. Add in olive oil. And you just want to add enough just to smooth this out. You don't need to add a ton of it. And drop in garlic flake. Get the lid on there. Yeah, I know this is like too easy, right? Oops. One-handed, guys. One-handed. Oops, give me a sec here. There we go. All right, and we grind. Okay, hold to get started. And as you can see, mine's a little dry. It's not moving very uh, efficiently. So, this is where you're gonna add in some more. Oh, oh, olive oil. And this is a good um, time to scrape down the sides if you need to. I don't think I need to, but I could be wrong. But we'll see. Make 
guys, I think it's making some progress. Let's take a peek. See how smooth it oh man. I think I need um some more. Actually, I think I just need to scrape down the sides a little bit. Push it all down in there. Okay. Okay. Add a little more olive oil. Remember guys, this is going to be multiple servings, okay? It's not like you'll be eating this entire uh, amount in one go. If you really want to. <laughs> Oops. Lock it first. and thick. Mm. Oh, it smells good, guys. Totally smells good. Look at that. Definitely. So this is a point where I would suggest, you know, give it a taste and see if um, this is what you would like. You grab a oops, fork, spoon, whatever. Mm-hmm. I think it needs more salt. Um, oh my gosh, that tastes so good, guys. You have no idea. Oh, that tastes so good. <laughs> so good, guys. So, I'm just going to add a little bit more oil. much easier for you guys because you won't be holding the camera <laughs> So I think you got the idea. Basically, you're going to blend this until it's smooth. Let me just see how it is now. If I could open this with one hand. Oh, guys, I got to put the camera down. I'll be right back. Hummus. Yummy, yummy hummus. Oh, I must mention, though, I added um, like a tablespoonful of water in there just because I thought, you know what? This, like, it was delicious. It is delicious, but... Um, I wanted it a bit thinner and I didn't want to keep pouring all my very good olive oil in there. So I just added a pinch of water, I didn't show you guys that. And then, you know, just touch up the salt, touch up the pepper, whatever, you know, um, seasonings you want to add in there and that's it. So guys, I'm about to have the most delicious, yummy, homemade hummus. Mm. <laughs> the olive oil makes it absolutely luxurious so the better your olive oil the better your hummus will taste well the better any of the ingredients you put in there the better it's gonna taste guys okay so obviously I use lime instead of lemon which then gives it a certain je ne sais quoi okay and I use one clove of garlic raw because I love garlic and I love the benefits of garlic, the health benefits. You don't have to add garlic. You can just make plain hummus with no garlic taste. But like I said, it's up to you. And yeah, guys, that's it. You just scoop it out, 
I'm gonna store it in this airtight container. You know, this seals all the way around. And it should be in, good in your fridge, you know, two, three days. Um, if you don't if you don't eat it all, all at once, which I won't do, I don't think. Um, and that's it, guys. Yeah, homemade hummus. Very simple, very quick, easy to do. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye. And remember, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Let me know if you enjoy these recipes. Comment down below. I love to hear from you guys. Give me some feedback. Um, and try it out, guys. Try out the hummus. Let me know how it um, turns out for you. And um, you know what I'm about to say. God loves you. I love you. And don't forget, love each other. Love your neighbor. I will see you soon. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.